Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tierra, aka Mommy, and Indigo is taking a nap right now, but aka Go. And um, we're so excited. Well, I'm so excited to be starting this video today with you guys. Um, Y'all, I woke up this morning and it was so cold outside that I was like, <laughs> I smell fall in the air and you know what that means you know fall my favorite season my birthday coming up you know i'm so excited so you know i could wait to whip out the sweater put my jeans on i don't put indigo a little cardigan on you know keeping her all nice and warm i uh, even with the starbucks and got me a pumpkin spice latte yes i'm that fall person <laughs> <laughs> but anyways today i wanted to kind of have like a recap on um my previous video which was about breastfeeding and my breastfeeding journey um and the only reason i wanted to do that is because i actually posted a picture on instagram uh recently about um how to you know increase my milk production and um you know just you know how i'm going back to work full time and now like i feel like she's not getting enough milk and all that stuff um and i also wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the first time i ever breastfed in the hospital and the tools that they gave me which i was talking to you guys a little bit about like the little tube thing so i wanted to show you what that really was as well um so first off uh just you know recapping about um the picture that i posted on instagram so remember last video i told you guys that i was having trouble with you know just producing enough milk for her and i wasn't getting enough milk to where i can actually have a supply so what i was doing was i was pumping at work and then she would use it the next day so i wasn't pumping enough milk i was just pumping enough for her to be able to use it for the next day so when i got on instagram i just i asked you know um i ask my followers suggestions and what they think that I should have did or what I should do now. And a lot of things were coming back saying um, my water intake, which speaking of water intake is so important that you drink as much water as you can while you're breastfeeding. Because when I started to um, breastfeed, I was drinking water like constantly, like every day, all day. Like they gave us like these huge jugs um from the hospital so i was drinking that like crazy i was thirsty y'all you just don't understand i would felt like i was dying i was like oh i need more water i need more water <laughs> so um you know i feel like that was helping me when i first started breastfeeding um and then i geared off of the water a lot and then i started drinking like these seltzer waters which um i became addicted to so i had to stop that all together too and then now i'm back to drinking the water now um me drinking more water it is definitely helping my flow a lot um it's helping me you know um pump more milk which is really great and it's helping me re-up a lot faster as well so that was one of the things that helped me also another thing that helped me um somebody messaged me on instagram and told me um about oatmeal now y'all i hate oatmeal oh my gosh i hate oatmeal <laughs> like i can't stress that enough so i was like oh no no girl i ain't doing no oatmeal and then she was like well why don't you try oatmeal shake and i was like you know what that don't sound like a bad idea so i went to pinterest right and then i looked up some oatmeal shakes um oh my gosh made it it was bomb i was like okay i'm gonna have to start doing this now because it tastes good i feel better because before i was drinking like a coffee a day um which is not bad just to let you know it's not bad when you're breastfeeding to drink um coffee it's just like you need to drink like one cup a day don't like you know overdo it where you feel like you know you chugging back the coffee all day long you know then your baby gonna be bouncing off the walls like you <laughs> so um but you can do it is safe for you to do like you know one cup um so i stopped drinking the coffee and i started drinking these oatmeal shakes which i can put a i can put the ingredients um down in the description just in case if you guys want to try it if you like it go ahead and comment down on this video and let me know you know um if i made a good decision and y'all agree with my taste buds okay <laughs> But um, I started drinking these oatmeal shakes. They were really, really good. Um, I was feeling, I was feeling energized, and you know, it was helping me cut back on my calories. I meant not cut back on the calories, but it was helping me burn a lot more calories during the day. So it actually helped me um, drop some pounds as well, which is really great. Um, and that was helping me, you know, with my intake, with my um, 
I met with my production, my milk production. So things have been going well there. Thank you to everybody who commented under my Instagram post, which I'm going to um, leave my Instagram down below. So that way y'all come and follow me. You know, I got me and Indigo and my little family all up on there. Y'all can see how I live, you know, <laughs> you know, see who I really am besides this YouTube stuff. Okay. No, I'll just like, <laughs> But um, yeah, I, I really appreciate it. It really helped me. Somebody else said, a lot of people were saying um, the breast, like the mommy tea, the breastfeeding tea. I haven't tried that yet, um, but I love tea. I am a tea drinker. I stopped drinking tea for a little bit, but I'm definitely thinking about trying that as well. See, I'm trying to do everything I can to, you know, like skyrocket this milk production up because she's getting older. She's taking a lot of milk. So I feel like my habits need to change, you know, so I'm definitely working on that. So I'll let you guys know in a different video how the um, mommy tea has affected me as well. Um, also, somebody said mommy supplements, but, you know, I'm staying away from the mommy supplements just because I just don't take pills all the time. Like I could take pills, but like I always forget to take pills. So like it's just not even worth trying because I know my habits and I know I'm not going to continue to use it, you know um so yeah uh just thank you everybody for reaching out and you know helping me with that i greatly appreciate it you know uh y'all don't ever be scared to reach out to somebody or just to you know ask questions um if you're struggling with something you know whether it's breastfeeding or whether it's being a new mom in general you know don't feel scared to ask questions or reach out for help because that's what everybody is here for that's what your friends are here for that's what your family is here for um and that's what the resources on the internet is here for. You know, we're here for um, just providing you with the information you need to succeed. So that being said, um, let's get into this little <laughs> this little tube thing, okay? <laughs> so as I said, when I first started breastfeeding in, in a hospital, um, it just, the first time she ever latched on was really good. After that, like we had nothing but troubles. Um, so what they did was they tried to get me to use this right here. This is a nipple shield. So they had me put this on there. So then she tried to like, it, it had to like stick to my boob or something like that. And she tried to use the nipple shield and it still wasn't working with just the nipple shield. So and I felt like she wasn't really getting milk and stuff like that. So um, what they did was they gave me this little device right here. That's what I say. It's my little tube. Okay. Um, and what we did was then we did a little thing of Similac, right? You take the cap off the Similac and you screw this onto the Similac bottle, right? So um, after you screw this on, then milk starts to flow down this tube, okay? Um, you can kind of control the speed of the milk that's coming out. So like here, like this little thing right here, you can like lift it up and then like the uh, milk will flow really, really fast or you could like push it back down there and then the milk flow will stop, okay? So we took this tube and I meant I said this. We took this tube and stuck this tube inside the nipple shield, right? So there's like little teeny tiny like things right here. Little teeny tiny holes in the nipple shield. So we just kind of set this in there like this. Um, so it's just like tube inside the nipple shield. Then you put it on your boob, right? Um, and you just kind of, you know, it sticks to your boob and I'm over here holding the Similac bottle like this. Got the thing on my boob, right? And basically she's getting like a little teeny tiny bit of Similac and just so she can latch more comfortably on me to be able to suck to get the colostrum out. So I was doing this um, at the hospital It and I did it a week at home just until like you know things started to she started to get more comfortable i hated it it was very complicated it took me forever to get situated and the tube kept falling out like the nipple shield kept popping off like <laughs> it was not working for me so i was like you know what we just gonna i was like you know we just gonna work on this so i knew that she was learning she knew how to latch so i completely removed this all together and then we started back to the boob 
Um, so you will be trying a bunch of different things when you first start breastfeeding. You will be trying so many things just to get your baby connected with you. So many things just to get your baby going, you know, and comfortable with the latch um, and all of that stuff. Now, I can say it was very painful at first when she was breastfeeding. So I started to use the nipple balm, you know, um... Actually, I, I like the lan the lanolin um, from Medela. That was really great. Um, and then it's safe for your baby as well. So like you can put it on your nipple and then later on, like your baby can drink and like it won't, um, there's no harsh chemicals in it. So it'll be fine. Um, the lanolin was really, really great. And then I also used a lot of um, nursing pads just because, you know, when you first start breastfeeding, your milk is all over the place. Like one minute you flow in like a fountain and the next minute you're like, what the heck is going on? Like, And as I told you, I had one boob here and one boob here, you know, like, so I was using nipple pads. Um, I mean, yeah, nipple nipple pads uh, gracefully, you know, like I bought this big old box from Amazon and I still got them. I don't use them no more just because I don't find myself leaking because normally like um, I, I pump on a regular basis and stuff like that. Like normally you won't see your boobs leak unless you haven't pumped or you or she hasn't eaten in a while. Then you'll lean on your boob and you're like, and then out of nowhere, like milk starts coming out. You like, shoot. Um, but as long as you're, you know, you have like a little routine and you keep going and you keep going and everything should be good. Um, and that's about, I'm pretty sure that's about it. That's all I really wanted to cover um, in this video. You know, I just wanted to make sure like uh, in this second video, I talk a lot um, about the details of the of the breastfeeding bit because I did that video kind of fast and then I wanted to give you as much information I can but also keep you as well so hopefully this was like a little clarity and also an update on how things are going for me um I will continue to do like little updates during like my other videos as well so that way you know how my breastfeeding journey is going um and then also if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or even um, you can message me on Instagram like I am open to take any type of questions um, that you have and um, be support like I want to be a support system for you guys as well. So, all righty, y'all have a wonderful day and please enjoy this fall weather, you know, hey. You know, get your sweaters on, your big long sweaters. I done whipped out my Uggs, y'all. I can't wait. I slipped my, I got these Ugg slippers. They so comfortable. I slipped my feet in those and I was like, yes. <laughs> but anyway, subscribe down below. And y'all, I'm so glad she stays asleep. Yes, man. I've been trying to get her to go to sleep all day. But anyway, <laughs> have a wonderful day. Peace. <laughs>